Hi, this is Halala. In this video, we will talk about the optimization of multivariable function using the Hessian method. Now, if we were given a multivariable function that is equal to f of x, y, so this is a multivariable function. The, uh, the conditions for this multivariable function to be at optimum, where there is the first condition was there f x should be equal to 0 and f y should be equal to 0. Zero simultaneously. That is the first uh, partial derivatives of this multivariable function should be equal to zero simultaneously. This was also called the first order condition. Now the second order condition was uh, that is the second order direct partial derivatives that is f x x and f y y should be greater than zero should be greater than uh, zero in case of minimum that is for for minimum and f x x and f y y should be greater than zero uh, in case of maximum that is for 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 maximum so these uh, these are these are the second order direct partial derivatives should be greater than zero for minimum and uh, second order direct partial derivative should be less than zero for maximum and another condition was that the product of second order direct partial partials that is f x x multiplied by f x y the product of second order direct partial derivative uh, should be greater than the product of the second order cross partial that is f x y multiplied by f y x or we can write f x x into f x sorry here is f y y this is f y y here so f x x into f y y should be greater than f x y whole square because of the uh, Young's theorem because f y x is equal to f x y so I have written this uh, condition like in this way so these were the conditions these two are the condition these two are called the second order conditions for uh, for optimum of a multivariable function so these two are called the second order condition condition now we can use uh, in place of these two uh, these conditions we can use the hessian Hessian method in checking the second order conditions. Now the Hessian, Hessian is determinant composite of all the second order partials with uh, second order direct partials on the principal di diagonal and second order cross partials on non-principal diagonal. That is, we can use a uh, Hessian matrix for this. We can use uh, these two conditions can be also used checked by the Hessian method. So the Hessian method is Hessian is Hessian is determinant determinant composite of all composite of all the uh, all the second order partials second order partial derivative with second order second order direct partial partial on principal diagonal principal diagonal and uh, second second order cross partial partials on non-principal non-principal diagonal now what does this mean if we were given a multivariable function like this that is equal to f x y given the first order conditions are met that is these conditions are met uh, uh, this condition is met now the second order condition for the multivariable function for to be at optimum is that is we use the Hessian. Hessian is denoted by this H. 
now this uh, hessian is composed of this hessian matrix is composed of uh, is composed of all the second order partial derivatives with second order direct partials on the principal diagonal that is h is equal to that is f x x f x y f y x and f y y this is the hessian matrix in which the second order direct partials are on the principal diagonal this diagonal is called this diagonal is called the principal diagonal and the second order cross partials are on non principal diagonal these f x y and f y x now for minimum so i will write the conditions are for for minimum for minimum for minimum the conditions are the first element that is the first uh, element which is also called the first principal minor that is the first element which is also called the first first principal principal minor which is denoted by h1 which is here this f x x so this first element is called the first principal minor which is f x x this should be uh, this should be greater than 0 this is the first condition for minimum and another is and second principal minor principal minor which is denoted by h2 that is h2 is h2 is equal uh, which is equal to h2 is composed of all the elements here in case of that is h2 is second principal minor is f x x f x y f y uh, f y x and f y y now multiplying the elements on the principal diagonal that is f x x into f y y f x x multiplied by f y y minus um, f y x into f x y we can be written as f x x f y y minus f x y square because f y x is equal to f x y because of the youngest term that is the f y x is equal to f y f x y so this h2 the determinant of this h2 should be also greater than zero for minimum so this is the second order condition for minimum using hessian method now for maximum for maximum for maximum the first element that is first principal minor that is first first element element that's called first principal minor minor that is h1 h1 should be less than so i will write here which is here f x x you should be less than zero for uh, for maximum to check the second order condition for maximum and second principle principle minor minor that is h2 which is composed of uh, uh, these four elements that is h2 which is equal to f x x f x y f y x f y y which is equal to now multiplying the elements on the principal diagonal that is f x x into f uh, y y minus from there subtracting the product of the elements on non principal diagonal here that is f y x f f y x um, multiplied by f x y so which turns out to be f x x f y y minus f x y square so this second principal diagonal sorry second principal minor 
should be greater than 0. So these are the conditions for the multivariable function uh, to be at the optimum. Now in nutshell I can say I will write here the conditions for the Hessian matrix to be optimum is there. First of all the first order condition must be met. That is first is fx should be equal to 0, fy should be equal to 0. Now the conditions are uh, we form the Hessian matrix which is composed of all the second order partial derivatives with second order direct partial on the principal diagonal and second order cross partial derivatives on non principal diagonal. That is uh, if h is that is h is given by fxx, fxy, fyx and fyy. So for maximum I will write here. Uh, for minimum, for minimum, this element, this is called the first principal minor. That is H1, uh, H1 which is Fx, X, uh, should be greater than 0. And the second principal minor, which is H2, which is composed of all the elements. That is uh, this Fx, X, X, F, X, Y, F, Y, X, and F, Y, Y it should be greater than 0. So this, this is the condition for minimum and for maximum we should have for maximum for maximum the first principal minor that is h1 h1 should be less than 0 and h2 is, should be greater than 0. So this only, this first principle actually determine, determines the condition for uh, uh, condition for optimum. And these, uh, the second condition is same for both maximum and minimum. So in the next video, we will solve a numerical is how to find the optimum value of a multivariable function and checking the first order and second order conditions using the usual method and Hessian matrix. Thank you very much. So for more videos on mathematical economics, please subscribe our YouTube channel EconMaths. Also like, comment and share if you like this video. Thank you.